today and I wonder how you've got on with being creative. I wonder what you've been having a go at making at home since yesterday or maybe you've made something in your garden. But I wonder how you got on with those two questions I left you with yesterday. Have you managed to make something out of nothing and have you managed to make something just by speaking it to happen? Well, I don't know about you, but I didn't manage it at all. It was rubbish. It didn't work. I couldn't do it. And I imagine you couldn't do it either. Well, come on, let's have a look in the Bible at Genesis chapter 1 and find out all about someone who could do both of those things, who made everything from nothing by simply speaking. Well, when God made the world, he didn't use Play-Doh. He didn't use cake mixture. He didn't use glue or paint. Listen carefully to the words in the Bible in Genesis chapter 1 to find out how God made everything, to find out how it happened. And I wonder if while I'm reading it, I'm going to sit down and read it. And while I'm doing that, I want you to have a look around the table and along the washing line and see if you can find the pictures of the things that God made as I read it to you. So let's begin. Let's have a look from the Bible, from Genesis chapter 1, and we're going to start to read at verse 1. Are you ready? Are you ready to look for some things? Let's begin. In the beginning, God created the sky and the earth. The earth was empty and had no form. Darkness covered the ocean, and God's spirit was moving over the water. Then God said, let there be light. And there was light. God saw that the light was good. So he divided the light from the darkness and God named the light day and the darkness night. Evening passed and morning came. This was the first day. Then God said, let there be something to divide the water in two. So God made the air to divide the water in two. Some of the water was above the air and some of the water was below it. God named the air the sky. Evening passed and morning came. This was the second day. Then God said, let the water under the sky be gathered together. So the dry land will appear. And it happened. God named the dry land Earth. He named the water that was gathered together seas. God saw that this was good. Then God said, let the earth produce some plants. Some plants will make grain for seeds. Others will make fruit with seeds in it. Every seed will produce more of its own kind of plant. And it happened. The earth produced plants. Some plants had grain for seeds. The trees made fruit with seeds in it. And each seed grew its own kind of plant. God saw that all this was good. Evening passed and morning came. This was the third day. Then God said, let there be lights in the sky to separate the day from the night. And these lights will be used for signs, for the seasons, for days and the years. They will be in the sky to give light to the earth. And it happened. God made the two large lights. He made the brighter light to rule the day and he made the smaller light to rule the night. He also made the twinkly stars. God put all these in the sky to shine over the earth. They are to rule over the day and over the night. He put them to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that all these things were good. Evening passed and morning came. This was the fourth day. Then
Then God said, let the water be filled with living things and let birds fly in the air above the earth. So God created the large sea at once. He created every living thing that moves in the sea. The sea is filled with these living things and each one makes more of its own kind. God also made every bird that flies and each bird makes more of its own, its own kind. God saw that this was good. God blessed them and said, How many young, have many young ones and grow in number. Fill the water of the seas and let the birds grow in number on the earth. Evening passed and morning came. This was the fifth day. Then God said, let the earth be filled with animals and let each animal make more of its own kind. Let there be tame and friendly animals, small crawling animals and wild animals. And let each produce more of its kind. And it happened. So God made the wild animals, the tame, friendly animals, and all the small, crawling animals. And they made more of their own kind. And God saw that this was good too. Then God said, let us make human beings, people, in our own image and likeness and let them rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky. Let them be in charge over the tame animals, over all the earth and over all the small crawling animals on the earth. So God created human beings, people in his image. In the image of God, he created them, male and female man and woman. God blessed them and said, have many children and grow in number. Fill the earth and be in charge of it. Rule over the fish in the sea and over the birds in the sky. Rule over every living thing that moves on the earth. God said, look, I have given you all the plants that have grain for seeds and the trees whose fruits have seeds in them. They will be food for you. I have given all the green plants to all the animals to eat. They will be food for every wild animal, every bird of the air, and every small crawling animal. And it happened. God looked at everything he had made, and it was very good. Evening passed, and morning came. This was the sixth. So the sky, the earth and all that filled them were finished. By the seventh day, God finished the work he had been doing. So on the seventh day, he rested from all his work. God blessed the seventh day and made it a holy day. He made it holy because on that day, God rested. He rested from all the work he had done in creating the world. So God made everything out of nothing. And he made it simply by speaking. That is amazing. And if God made everything, then he is king of everything. And that He's in charge of everything. He's the boss, like we talked about last week. And everything God made was perfect, just the way he wanted it to be. But as we know, our world isn't perfect. And things have changed. So I want you to join me next week to find out what went wrong and how God because he's in charge, fixed the problem with his amazing rescue plan. I wonder who or what that amazing rescue plan is 
join me next week to find out. See you soon. Take care and God bless.